بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد as we mentioned prior to this we're talking about beneficial knowledge and the statement of Sheikh Muhammad where he made dua for the people who read and study his treatise where he said اعلم رحمك الله انه يجب علينا تعلم اربع مسائل الاولى العلم وهو معرفة الله ومعرفة النبي ومعرفة ومعرفة الدين الاسلامي بيدلة الثاني العمل به so he said the first thing and may Allah have mercy upon you is knowing Islam is knowing uh, is having علم and علم it is knowing Allah and it is knowing the Prophet والسلام, and it's knowing the religion of Islam with its textual proofs. Then he said, the second thing, so the first thing is knowledge. The second thing, al bih, is practicing that knowledge. So then he said, Athani al Amalubi. The second thing is practicing. So after obtaining knowledge, we practice. We try to implement what we've studied. That is the way of the believers, those people who are afraid of being punished by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for not acting upon that which they learned and are afraid of following those nations who came before us who had knowledge from ahl kitab and they didn't implement that knowledge they went against the knowledge that they had and for that reason Allah described them as those people who are maghdub uh, alayhim that they are the people who are uh, they have the anger and wrath of Allah upon them and that they are the people of the hellfire may Allah protect us from that and that they receive knowledge and clarity and then they didn't follow the haq that's, that's what's a, a sad and a scary scary thing for us to be aware of. As Allah says, La tukun, la tukun, la tukun lilladina kafru min ba'di ma jahum al bayna. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, don't be like those who disbelieved after the truth became clear for them. All throughout the Quran, Allah, that's an ayah from Surah Al Imran, I believe. But in the verse in Surah Al Bayna, it carries the same meaning where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Lem yukunil ladina kafuru min ahl al kitabi wal mushrikina. Munfaqina hatta ta'tiyuhum al That those who believe, Lam yukun al kafaru. That those who disbelieved from the people of the book, or they didn't disbelieve until clear evidence came to them. So letting us know, subhanAllah, that disbelief came after the haq was presented. It wasn't just that they flat rejected the truth. But even worse than that, they get, got the truth, it became clear for them, then they rejected. So that's what we have to be careful of. And may Allah protect us from that. And that's why we have to practice the knowledge that we gain. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ikhlas, with the bat ala sunnah, 
وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم